Hello and welcome to another episode of Dyer Times. I'm your host David Dyer and today we find ourselves at the Buckskin Scout Reservation here near Marlington, West Virginia. It's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, but we're going to go interview a few people and see what it's all about to be a scout. Let's go check it out. Camp! Attention! So we've caught up with Andrew O'Neill, who is the program director here at the Buckskin Scout Reservation. Tell us a little bit about what you do here. Well, my main job is to oversee all of the classes that we teach and a lot of the fun activities that we plan throughout the day, such as you know playing frisbee in the field or open areas like waterfront or the climbing wall or open shooting sports. All of that falls under my domain. Well, I'll tell you, speaking of programs, like I said, we are at the Buckskin Scout Reservation here near Marlington, West Virginia. Uh, not really near anything else, though. <laughs> no, uh, not at all. But anyhow, it's some beautiful country, as you can see behind us. What are some of the activities that you have planned here for the scouts uh, and the troops that come through uh, this summer? Oh, we've got a wide variety of things. For our shooting sports, we have some demonstrations for both the younger and the older scouts using 22s and shotguns and some handguns for the venturers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're going to be able to, to shoot those and see some uh, sharp shooting demonstrations that Very are here. Cool. Very cool. Uh, if you go to the archery range, we have a wide variety of, of activities there. You can throw tomahawks at log targets. Yeah. Uh, we have blow darts that you'll be able to shoot cool. at targets and of course archery so I mean anything that is a projectile oh and we actually have atlatls this oh, year yes, which are the, the yes, uh, yes. Native American spear throwing device mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's those are some of the fun ones that everybody loves to do other than that nature of course you can always go and ask the, the director or one of the, the staff members for a walk they're very knowledgeable about all the plants and animals around here um, and they love to learn themselves, so don't think that they're just going to shun you if you if you know sure. more than them. They love to learn. It seems to be a pretty good environment for sharing ideas. And so down at the waterfront, we have a wide variety of activities, almost offer, offering almost all of what BSA can offer for water sports. Uh, we have scuba classes when we have enough equipment. Sure. We set up underwater courses for them to go through. We have snorkeling classes where you can look at some of our massive snapping turtles and all oh, sorts yeah. of wildlife in the lake. We have swimming, of course. We have a, we have a wide variety of, of boating options. You can yeah. either take out a canoe. I saw somebody sailing across there, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'm a huge kayaker, but uh, it was just this mini little boat with a sail on it, and they're out there, you know, pulling yeah. it and really seemed pretty exciting, even though it's just, it looks like a calm lake, but they, seem to be really you know having a good time oh yeah the the wind can really whip across that lake and sometimes it's not getting out that's the hard part it's getting back <laughs> i bet i bet um but we do have sailboats which are not necessarily everyone's favorite class sure. just because they can be pretty difficult but we also have rowboats uh of course canoes if that's a little more your speed and then if you're more about the solo or going out on your own and developing your own proficiency we have kayaking and we actually have kayak gates that we use to test you and your abilities nice. and you actually have to do, you actually have to show proficiency to get some of the badges down there Excellent. well as, as you should yeah that's oh. the way it works you got to earn everything you, you do uh, one of the newest additions to our program was in the last few years we've gotten a a climbing wall which is open almost every night of the week and and most afternoons and kids are all over that day oh, I'm and sure. night they I'm sure really enjoy it and it's now a, a primary feature of the camp excellent well uh as far as some of the like merit badges and things like that i understand you have handicraft right. scout craft what are some of the things that people would expect to find in those places um well in handicraft it, it's kind of like it sounds it's literally crafts that you would do some of some people might think these are a little stereotypical of a summer camp you know oh i'm gonna make something and take well, it home to mom now, yeah but i i saw anvils down there i saw i mean i I saw some pretty heavy duty stuff down there. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's the thing is you might think it's just oh it's just crafts, but until you see what we do, we have metal working, we have kids that will be able to make a nail knife where they'll pound out the nail in metal working, they'll make a handle in wood carving and they can make either a handle grip or a sheath in and leather, and yeah. leather working. And yeah. so you can come home with not just 
you know, something, a necklace you threw together. It's actually something you've taken a lot of time and effort and made it your own. Be and you, proud, be really proud of, yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just developing those skills. And then in scout craft, it's really, it really gets down to the nitty gritty of a lot of our scout skills. Mm -hmm. Uh, pioneering, which is tying of knots and binding together of poles with rope. We've seen everything from a, a swinging log bridge, a monkey bridge, towers, bird or animal traps. Uh, kids really get into those projects and they will make some very interesting things out of sticks they find in the woods and some rope that we give them. So uh, really kind of given the opportunity to be super creative with some of those things. Oh yeah, definitely. And I mentioned before, Wilderness Survival, mm -hmm. they get to make their own shelter uh, and stay out overnight with only a, a single tarp. Oh, and you want to talk about ingenuity. Oh, Some sure. of those kids get very creative and... Probably not, probably building shells by morning, you know. Oh yeah. I'm going to stay here now, yeah. <laughs> they don't want their campsite anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's good. What would somebody need to do to, to be involved in something like this or even getting involved in scouting? Um, getting involved in scouting is actually pretty easy. All you'd have to do is find your local uh, council headquarters and go and ask where troops are in your area. And then all you would have to do is fill out an application and you could become a member. Any, any person between the ages of 10 and a half to 110 can be a scout or go to uh, scouting.org and they can that will direct you on how to locate troops and how to locate the resources you need to join. Andrew, thank you. It's been an excellent time out here. I uh, really appreciate you letting me come out, uh, hang out with the scouts, see some of the really cool crafts and, and, uh, and skills that, uh, that you all do here and teach here. And I'm really excited to be a part of it and uh, definitely looking forward to getting more involved myself and encourage you all to get involved as well. So, uh, like you said, check out your local scout groups. We'll put some links below for some of the various councils and national scout councils. So we'll make that just a little bit easier for you to check out how you yourself can get your child or you or whomever involved in scouting. So Andrew, thanks again. And if you'd like to check out a little bit more of what Dire Times has to offer, you can click here for some practical survival of our own or here for the Mora Light My Fire Knife, which was a lot of fun we did with our blogger. Uh, she, she did a good job talking about learning some skills. She uh -huh. really took her a little bit, but she got it. She would get upset if she sees this. Or you can <laughs> click right there if you'd like to see some other really cool things out in the world, um, such as doing Tough Mudder, which is a, a really amazing 13 mile uh, mud race uh, that supports the Wounded Warrior Project. So pretty excellent. We took, uh, took my team of combat veterans and we we ran that oh wow it was it was interesting and this was dire times i'm your host david dyer and i'll see you next time be sure to like comment and subscribe